welcome back. Uh, for those of you who just watched the basic tutorial out of this, you'll notice that I'm starting off where we left off and that I'm doing this, <laughs> these tutorials in a bit of a batch together because why not, right? This next tutorial is basically going to be about this area, the whole prompting thing and how to bring out the power of this whole thing. So basically, let's just look at this. So the only thing I told you about before was the two cats thing where it was like you can create two cats by saying two cats with the number two next to it. And I did mention the whole thing about the size of the image and how the model was made will dictate why it like sometimes creates multiples when you don't want it to. And let's turn it back to 1024 by 768. And, oh, just keep two cats. <laughs> let's just keep that, that label two cats, right? Let's see what freaking does. Oh, let me turn down this. Let's turn that down and let's go back to Euler. And I'm gonna go back to normal. And the reason I wanna do this is because it can produce a lot more stuff with less steps. See, right, we had we still had it labeled as two cats, but then it gave us four, right? And again, that has to do with the size of this. And I think a lot of people will do is like, well, I don't want so many cats, so they'll start putting like negative prompts in here, like four cats, <laughs> right? Don't give me that many cats. I don't want four cats. I want two and blah, blah, blah. And then they'll try to run it again, like over and over, even though it's a, it's a different sampler and everything else. But you saw before, in the, if you watched the basic tutorial video, you saw it had nothing to do with the sampler, even with the different sampling, it still gave me more, more than I, what I wanted. And you can keep trying to negate this thing as much as you want to try to negate it by increasing the weight and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, okay, four cats, we'll give you three. I don't want three cats, right? And then you just go back in here and just like keep trying to fight this thing by saying, no, the, the negative three cats, like negate three cats, right? I want two cats. And then you know, then it might come over here and give you five or something. I don't even know like how exactly it's gonna interpret that. Again, this is why sometimes it's just important to know how the, the model that you're using what were the parameters it was created on? What were the, the, the things, the, the source images or whatever that they utilized? <laughs> right, exactly what it did. It still gave me three cats, right? He's like, sit up here, let's increase the weight of this thing, right? You know, um, and we'll talk about waiting in a second. But knowing what the model itself was like, the reference images that it was based upon will help you not struggle with this thing where you're just sitting there trying to fight what it's doing based upon the fact that it's just like you're, you're outside parameters of what it can do but you're like this thing called increasing weight right on in, in uh comfort ui make it really simple you can type it out but if you are on like specifically one word or you highlight multiple words like blue hat right and you press control and then the up arrow on your keyboard you can manipulate the weight of it like that so basically uh, 1.6 is like saying like Imagine it's like saying 60% of weight. It's really difficult sometimes to explain this, but realize this, everything again is a suggestion on here, right? And the more weight you put on one thing, the more it's like screaming at the thing that the AI to say, hey, pay attention to this, right? And the more, so the more weight you put on it, or in this, the weight I'm putting on negating three cats. So it's gonna, I guess, try like hell not to give me three cats, but that doesn't mean it ain't gonna give me a whole bunch of other different numbers, I guess. But it might not listen to it all because you're in the wrong, you know, base for this specific model, like at least the, the basis of resolution for this model. So the reason, again, why it repeated, <laughs> give me, it gave me exactly three cats, dude. <laughs> the main reason why I can't listen to you is because when you're outside of that resolution size, especially if it's larger, right? What's gonna happen is, is once you get outside the size that it was built on, it just repeats. And that's why it's repeating. You know, so take this back down to 512, right? Oop, not that. Again, not every model is built on the same resolution size. So it won't act the same way. And this one, I'm pretty sure it's gonna give me like two cats again, right? Boom, it's back to where it's supposed to be. But none of this negation stuff any really matters anymore because it wouldn't. It was gonna give me two cats in the first place because I'm at the right resolution size for this model. So 
just keep that in mind like and of course if you want to know like what stuff was built upon go to its source like you know a lot of people use like civet ai or whatever to find their models look at that like if it's not listed like what resolution size stuff was built on either it's civet ai hugging face you know all the places that you know stuff on github where people get stuff from they should tell you stuff like that if they created it and utilize that as a guide because if you, you go outside the parameters, you're going to get funky stuff. Just remember that. It's going to get like that. Keep that in mind when you're starting to <laughs> argue <laughs> with uh, the prompt too much. So two cats wearing a blue hat. So let's talk about something we don't want. Uh, maybe I'm sick of this showing up as a plain background. And you could just say like, you know, no, or at least take the blue out, right? But it didn't come up blue in here because you didn't really specify. Or you didn't specify anything in the background. So two cats wearing a blue hat with white stars and then in a forest here you want know to take the period off punctuation matters a little bit depending on what you're talking about but there is a way of thinking about how this whole process of prompting works and it also is still dependent upon what you're using so now they're in a forest but here there's some winter wonderland <laughs> and here it's more green so again maybe you just specify in a ever green forest all right i think that some people oh man that's like what is this like right <laughs> that's not exactly what i was going for realize that when you the way that i said this right the very first thing that you put in there is basically what has priority right it's basically how it works is start middle is like less priority and last has priority too or some more priority but the very first thing has like the highest priority so the two cats are the biggest thing in this image but if you were to flip this around right let's say just take this right here right let's cut this in an evergreen forest there are paste two cats wearing a blue hat with white stars now let's see how it changes now that we set it in a different way you know get this crap out of here <laughs> this is an annoying thing to look at oh <gasps> huh now the setting is a little bit more impactful about making sure that it's an evergreen looking forest right but it still has these little things just like they're like christmas things so what you know evergreen maybe that's what it's thinking about so let's Instead of calling it an evergreen, let's talk about a, just say rainforest, right? In a rainforest. Because I think evergreen, maybe evergreen is a reference to like Christmas stuff or pines or something. I don't know. Maybe evergreens are pines. <laughs> maybe that's me. <laughs> All right. So now they're in a rainforest, right? And you only have one here. To make sure, again, we can go back and emphasize that we want two cats. Put a little bit more weight on two cats. Just a little bit, right? And maybe it'll be more adamant about making it like two cats yeah okay we put a little bit more weight all right fine you want two cats now i did realize now now you're looking at these different hats we didn't specify what kind of hat it was maybe we want that knitted cap so let's just say that a blue hat a knitted blue hat with stars now right now i'm using like just mostly with the exception of the weights thing and that little two part i'm mostly just using like regular like colloquial speech when i'm dealing with this particular model this is a stable diffusion 1.5 model okay oh my god what in the world happened here <laughs> so again but you notice something the more and more you put words inside of this thing right the more stuff you're adding to the denoising process and it's more getting more complicated now this is when they're wearing this stuff on their bodies and i don't necessarily like that so this is where it becomes like getting like overly complicated now you can try to start negating stuff right now if you want and or you can just emphasize i want stars on this freaking hat dude like because now it's not paying attention to the stars anymore so let's just add something like that add a little bit more weight to that so maybe it'll put those freaking white stars on the uh, knitted caps, right? But see, also it goes outside. 
See, this stuff is extra stuff. Now, it's part of this cap thing, but it just made the little, I think the things were usually like these little fluffy balls <laughs> they'd have for this, and they turned into stars. Even, I think, the way that the ears are being interpreted with alongside the top of the cap are now trying to turn it into a star pattern. <laughs> Which is, this is interesting, right? Some of the stuff can't be helped depending on what models you're using or just period. Like it's just a part of the process and you just gonna have to keep running iterations sometimes. Cause I think, again, if we just run this again, that part was really random. So is this thing. I don't think that's, that would show up every time. Yeah, whoa, okay, now we got, <laughs> What do you call it? Amp anthropomorphic? Porf ah, anthropomorphic? Can barely say that word. Yeah, I don't want cat boobies. <laughs> so now we have something we definitely want to negate. Anthro. I think it actually knows this word. This is, this is anthropor. Oh my god, I can't. How do you. Oh my god. Hey, Google. <laughs> How do you spell anthropomorphic? Yes, thank you. Anthropomorphic is spelled A N T H R O P O M O R P H. All right, I got it. <laughs> Sorry about that. And whenever I don't know stuff like that, that's exactly what I do, man. Like, hey, Google, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know how to. How do you spell this word? I don't know how to spell this word. <laughs> It'd be messed up if I didn't know how to pronounce it either. I, mean, I don't really know if I did, but just Google. Yeah, I get what you're saying. All right, so I don't want that. Um, I also don't want any sweaters, all right? Because I feel like that kind of popped up before. And I usually put weights on this just because of stuff like how bad I just don't want to see this. So hopefully that'll counteract any iterations that we do that will show us an anthropomorphic cat or them wearing any kind of freaking sweaters. But it still keeps doing this freaking collar thing. Like, what is this freaking scarf? You know what? Let's do that too. Let's add scarf and collar. And that's very general, to be honest. And we'll just keep that pretty low. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't show them wearing. I don't see them wearing scarves right now. I just. I'm just trying to think of the right word that, that talks about what that is. Like I don't want anything around their neck. You know. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> That didn't work at all. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't even know how you would. Clothing? Yeah. It's so freaking hit or miss sometimes, bro. And yeah, I, I try to show you guys. I'm just show you guys exactly the, the freaking process. Like, I don't want to make it seem like I always know everything every time and all this kind of stuff. Because maybe it doesn't interpret this as a sweater. And that's the weird thing. Like, you're trying to understand why it what it knows and what it interprets this is like. But there's also something else you could do. So maybe it doesn't, you don't know exactly what it's describing or why it's describing it. With. This thing, we put a colon, right? And then you put, let's do knitted. And I'm gonna do it this way right now, just to see. So I put the underscores there because it's it'll really, Take it as one value if you do it that way but the colon here right is the idea that it's something next to it or near it so like i don't want the blue knitted cap near the body of the cat right that's why i'm negating this whole thing but if i was to do this and say i put it up here then it will definitely try to put the blue hat near the body of the cat so i'm just trying to make sure that like Maybe that's what it's doing. It's putting the knitted cap value because that's the only thing that's there, right? Near the body. So yeah, now it kind of took it away, but then it did this thing too where it's like, it inadvertently shows the body <laughs> of the cat more because of it. Now, now we're seeing like, I don't, don't want to see cat pubes, man. <laughs> so yeah. So we could also put down here, um, I guess body. And I'm going to do that softly. I'm not going to tell it to intensely take away the body. Cause I still want to see the body. I just don't want it to be about the body. So there's a weird process of like doing about negation, right? So basically, yeah, I think it was just taking the knitted cap. Cause that's the only value of like the knitted clothing, right? That was there. I think if we take away scarf and sweater, it, you know, it won't really matter. And I, I like to do that. Go back and clean up stuff like that, that it wasn't, that was inconsequential. Cause now we're just putting excess stuff that has variables that we don't really know. And go back and then you can also make sure 
that, okay, the AI was interpreting the hat onto the body. That, that was the problem, right? Because we still got this weird stuff happening. So it's like a mix between the star patterns and like the background and then how it's like encapsulating the cats or whatever. It's really strange. And it's not as, and see, I think part of it too is the blue hat, right? So now it doesn't want to give you the blue value on the hat anymore because it's down here in the negation process only because you wanted to take the blue hat off the body, right? So it's this, this back and forth type of thing that you're constantly having to deal with. Like, well, how do I get it to just, you know, maybe I just, just don't take the, the knitted hat off, but maybe you can just, I don't want any knitted hat near the body, right? But maybe, maybe I'll do something crazy, like create a blue cat or something, you know? You see how it still kind of comes back. Right with around the neck, and you get some random girl that's just so like, who is this? Like, I don't who are you? <laughs> like, why did you show up? Like, right? And I, before I want to get to the point of like, you know, <laughs> negating a girl from the thing, like, it just run it again because that might not happen, it just be a fluke. But see, this same thing happens. See, now the knitted cap shows up on the body again. And I think a lot of the problem is that we're talking about an animal with fur and because an animal has fur and fur is very similar to these knitted caps. I think that's why it's maybe the denoising process or the AI is having a hard time distinguishing between what is cat and what is hat. Oh my God. That sounded almost like some Dr. Seuss crap, but hey, you know, or the cat and hat. At any rate, I think this is where you see like a lot of the problems arise dealing with prompts and possible solutions for how you can get what you want. And for this specific scenario, I think the best case scenario is that you take off, you know, get the whole specific of not getting the blue knitted cap on the body and then keep running it, right? Even though I just, what is this cat pubes thing, dude? Tell me that's a tail, dude. I just, it's just like, what is that, right? But that'll help get the, the, the knitted cap thing off of the body for this specific scenario. But again, we still run into the problem. Again, when you negate something, right? And you put negation of the body of the knitted cap on the body, right? What it's now doing is also telling it simultaneously to make sure that the body doesn't have a hat on it. So it's now showing you more of the body, which is strange, right? Because even though body's down here, it's specifically you're telling it this part not show knitted hat on the body. So let me just make sure I'm showing you that there's no knitted cap on the body. And that's why you see the body more. It emphasizes that. Basically learning how to utilize this stuff powerfully which is what I'm trying to teach you is a little bit of problem solving too, right? But I hope this was informative. I don't know if it was too long or not. If it was, let me know. And if it wasn't, or if it's something I didn't go over about prompting and how to really get a grasp over what it's doing, Please, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, this has been an AI cinema tutorial and one step closer to creating your own stuff. Trust me, we haven't gotten to the animation part yet, but we'll get there, I guess, soon enough. <clears throat> but this is the basis that I work with to create all that stuff, by the way. But anyways, yeah, I hope this tutorial was informative. I would be making more stuff like this and let me know what you want to see as well in the comments too, so I can make a tutorial on that in the best plain speech I can possibly make it in. So that way you can really understand how to utilize it and do stuff effectively for yourself, as well as come up with your own concepts. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Do all that stuff they tell you to do at the end of these freaking videos. With the, if you want to like and subscribe, you don't have to if you don't want to, I guess. But yeah, have a nice day.